hope, uh, hope it's another successful year for them. We'll look at the Atlantic Basin right now, busy across the ocean. We've got Hurricane Gabrielle. We'll look at that in a second. And then there are two waves that we are monitoring. Now, I'm not really concerned with either of these impacting us in any major way, but yes, this development blob is close to the state of Florida. We'll monitor it, but there's a front boundary that's actually likely gonna be dropping down the country uh, over the next few days while both of these move northwest. So that front's probably gonna pick them up and send them out to sea. Uh, if that changes, of course, I will let you know, but increased development chances for both of these. We actually might see a depression forming here by the end of the week. We'll look at Gabrielle now. Rapid intensification yesterday. It's now a category four hurricane, very strong. Uh, it's rather small though. Now winds are going to slowly weaken as it continues to move off towards the east northeast over the next several days. Uh, and then headed out to see the Azores. We need to keep a close eye on this. Again, winds right now at 140 miles per hour, category four hurricane. Next name on our list is Umberto and then Imelda. Hurricane season ends November 30th. Uh, currently, aside from those two other waves, there's nothing else that we are watching across the Atlantic Basin. <laughs> Storm track meteorologist Lauren Leslie. Lauren, uh, yeah. it's just that here we go, rinse, repeat. Yeah. You know, it's same. kind of the same deal here. Back to you guys. Yeah. All right, great, great, <laughs> right? Uh, yeah, we got some little showers off the coast, just sort of meandering. We don't really have a strong wind flow out there still, so the rain doesn't really, you know, move very much. That same story is going to continue as we go through the next few days. Now, still enough moisture to create some rain and a few thunderstorms. By the end of the weekend and into early next week, a front boundary starts to approach the southeastern United States. See this blob to our east? That's Invest 94L right now. Maybe, you know, our next depression or tropical storm. And uh, it's going to likely continue to move northwest, probably parallel to us probably off of our coastline because of that front. We'll monitor this. If that changes and gets closer, I'll let you know. But as of right now, a cold front is likely going to be moving across the eastern U.S. in the little upper level trough there and send that out to sea and not be something that we need to be concerned with. Today, it's a warm and muggy one with our highs in the upper 80s, and we'll see some thunderstorms through the afternoon. We'll take a closer look at that still ahead. Matt and Stephanie. <laughs> Storm track meteorologist Lauren Leslie. Lauren, uh, yeah. it's just that here we go. Rinse, repeat. Yeah. You know, it's kind of the same deal here. Back to you guys. Yeah. All right, great, great, Lauren. Hey, right? Uh, yeah, we got some little showers off the coast, just sort of meandering. We don't really have a strong wind flow out there still, so the rain doesn't really, you know, move very much. That same story is going to continue as we go through the next few days. Now, still enough moisture to create some rain and a few thunderstorms. By the end of the weekend and into early next week, a front boundary starts to approach the southeastern United States. See this blob to our east? That's Invest 94L right now, maybe, you know, our next depression or tropical storm. And uh, it's going to likely continue to move northwest, probably parallel to us, probably off of our coastline because of that front. We'll monitor this. If that changes and gets closer, I'll let you know. But as of right now, a cold front is likely going to be moving across the eastern U.S. in the little upper level trough there and send that out to sea and not be something that we need to be concerned with. Today, it's a warm and muggy one with our highs in the upper 80s, and we'll see some thunderstorms through the afternoon. We'll take a closer look at that still ahead. Matt and Stephanie. Storm track meteorologist Lauren Leslie. Lauren, uh, yeah. it's just that here we go. Rinse, repeat. Yeah. You know, it's kind of the same deal here. Back to you guys. Yeah. All right, great, great, Lauren. Hey, right? Uh, yeah, we got some little showers off the coast, just sort of meandering. We don't really have a strong wind flow out there still, so the rain doesn't really, you know, move very much. That same story is going to continue as we go through the next few days. Now, still enough moisture to create some rain and a few thunderstorms. By the end of the weekend and into early next week, a front boundary starts to approach the southeastern United States. See this blob to our east? That's Invest 94L right now, maybe, you know, our next depression or tropical storm. And uh, it's going to likely continue to move northwest, probably parallel to us, probably off of our coastline because of that front. We'll monitor this. If that changes and gets closer, I'll let you know. But as of right now, a cold front is likely going to be moving across the eastern U.S. in the little upper level trough there and send that out to sea and not be something that we need to be concerned with. Today, it's a warm and muggy one with our highs in the upper 80s, and we'll see some thunderstorms through the afternoon. We'll take a closer look at that still ahead. Matt and Stephanie. All right, let's talk tropics because we got a lot to go over right now. So there's three areas that we are watching. Post-tropical Gabrielle. So Gabrielle's now post-tropical, nothing we need to worry about. We've got Umberto, which is now a hurricane. And then we have this wave here, Invest 94L. I want to give you just a quick look on uh, at Umberto. Again, winds at 75 miles per hour. This actually could strengthen a little bit over the course of the next few days. 
uh, continuing to move northwest, maybe becoming a cat four by Monday, but eventually moving out to sea. No direct impact to the United States from uh, this system here. Maybe some increased surf across parts of the mid-Atlantic states. Then we've got Invest 94L. An area of low pressure is expected to develop here. Sometime later today, we could then maybe see a depression forming. There's the chance that the National Hurricane Center even starts putting out uh, a track under a potential tropical cyclone um, designation. And of course, we'll monitor that closely. But as of right now, th the models are still showing that this is likely going to be staying off of our coastline. It'll get close. I'm not really expecting any direct tropical impacts from it, though. Might get a little breezy, maybe, although we'll do with the southwest wind, so it'll be a hot wind, and we could likely deal with some rougher surf, too. So uh, some of our surfers, I'm sure, will be happy about that. So into the weekend, scattered thunderstorms are possible. This is Sunday morning. Here's what might become our next name system. And again, it's off of our coastline. I'm not really concerned with this impacting us. Maybe we see a little rain, maybe an outer band or two, but a lot of the moisture is going to get pulled out of our atmosphere and into this. So again, this is off of our coast. Again, I'm not overly concerned with this impacting us in some kind of direct way, but we'll see something. It's probably going to get a little breezy into early next week, too. Uh, but the, the center of the storm staying well off of our coastline. So we're going to monitor that very closely. The rain chances overall drop early next week. Like I mentioned, because that moisture is going to get pulled away, uh, that might change if we see any adjustments to the track. But we would be on the weaker side of the system anyway. Our temperatures will stay in the upper 80s as we go into next week. Matt and Sam.